Hey, Austin, I know we've, we've talked many times and, and obviously a lot of that's always been about your size. So in terms of height and weight, where are you at right now? Uh, 6'7", 250, 245. Okay. And, and uh, is that is that kind of on track with where you wanted to be? And what's the next benchmark you kind of want to hit by when? Um, I'm anticipating sp uh, by sp after spring, probably be 265. That's what I'm trying. Okay. In terms of, you know, just getting to Manhattan, I know you're, you're to played at K-State, of course. How has that first week been, and has it lived up to the expectations, or has it been overwhelming? Um, I would say a little bit of both, but I like to keep things positive. Everything's been going good so far. I get to lift every day, eat food, work out, do school. I mean, I can't complain. Are you still on a crazy diet where you're eating, like, a bunch of meals each day? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Austin. Kels. Hey, Austin, welcome to Kansas State. What would you say your first impressions of the place are now that you're living here? Um, it's a lot bigger than I thought. The campus yeah. is a lot bigger, but the facilities are really nice. I actually didn't even see some of the facility when I got here because of COVID, but a lot of it's really nice. What all have uh, you been able to, to do, you know, workout wise since you've been around? um well first like the week we had the covid or whatever so i kind of snuck out and went to the wreck a few times and then i think it was monday was when we were allowed to get back into the gym and start lifting like with the team so that was pretty good why was it so important for you to be a early enrollee and uh get, the, get this early jump um i would say just because of my size and just to like get more size quicker quicker more time adjust to the stuff of covid all that kind of stuff all right hey thanks austin appreciate it Fitz. hey austin good to see you uh, i'm old enough to have covered your dad when he played at k-state um what has he told you about his time in manhattan um, he told me that it, it was a, really hard, the football aspect of it. School kind of is kind of here and there, like it gets easier as you go, but it's just a grind. He came in um, as a high school tight end. Sounds familiar. Uh, yeah, yeah, he came in here at uh, 215. Yeah. Tight end the end. Yeah. Uh, his, his progress in putting on good mass was incredible to watch. So does that encourage you that this is going to be a, a journey that you can make to get up to the, the size of a big 12 tackle? I mean, yeah, yes. I always think if my dad can do it, I definitely can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good to talk to you. Ryan. Hey, Austin, unlike Fitz, I'm not old enough to have covered your dad. Uh, that being said, um, Given that, that, I mean, your dad, your mom, you've had multiple other family members who have played for K-State, uh, you know, in the athletics, was it ever a question that K-State was going to be where you went, or was it actually kind of an open thing before you settled and said, yeah, K-State is the best for me? I mean, I would say it was a little bit of both. I always wanted to come here, but I left my options open at first. And then as I started to, like, talk to the coaches, the new coaching staff, Coach Riley, came up here a few times and when I moved to Gardner is when it really sealed the deal. Devontae and then Taylor were both there and they kind of talked to me about it and I just kind of fell in love with it. What was the biggest thing during the, the recruiting process and I'm sure as crazy as maybe it, it's been during the pandemic, what, what was the biggest thing that sold you on K-State? Um, I would say Coach Riley just called, I called him and talk about like the O-line stuff, how hard he likes the players at work. And if he's, I mean, honestly, I wasn't going to go to college that a coach wasn't going to be hard on me. And Coach Riley, from what all the guys say, he's really hard on people. And I just kind of like that. 